Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of it, I am Penge and welcome back to Academia School Simulator where last time out we reached the end of year two, we had all of the exams at the end of year two and once again every single student passed, it was a 100% pass rate which is fantastic, it's obviously fantastic for the school's reputation, that is absolutely guaranteed but also it's fantastic for the monies it brings in because we get a lot of that, uh, what is it called, student pay pedigree or graduate pedigree or whatever it is which seems to give you the most money so I think that is a very good thing and we got lots of money and we invested it into a, a flooring mainly it mainly went into flooring I'll be completely honest we've built ourselves a little library here and we built some more classrooms and stuff and then we have been treating ourselves to some of these lovely research things because now we've got a little bit of extra money coming in each day we can actually give ourselves some of these you know we're not kind of scrabbling around for sort of pennies anymore we can give ourselves a little treat so we got ourselves the outlet store which means that all objects are 10% less which is fantastic that is very very good and now we have only just started researching water rationing which will decrease the water cost of all objects by 20% and I think when we looked last time we did spend around uh, where is it in there we spent about a grand yes just shy of a thousand dollars every day on water on watery things so that will be lovely so that'll be good to bring that down however there is a little bit of a problem i think that the academia game has been updated since the last time we played and you know that's fine that's what they do the developers develop it and they add new bits and make it all shiny but it has caused some um, unfortunate issues within our school and that's mostly to do with object placement let's go and have a look up here I mean it does look like we've been sort of uh, bothered by a very pesky poltergeist if I'm completely honest so let's get whoa extreme close-up if we have a look at the kitchen the sink in the kitchen has now been turned round and it's not against the wall anymore I mean it will still function people can walk into here and use the sink it's fine just the placement looks a little bit weird and then if we go over to the toilets just here, these sinks are now facing the wrong way and these hand sanitizers in the corridor and over here in the staff loo are also facing the wrong way. So whereas before they were on this sort of wall just here, now they've kind of flipped over in the tile they're placed in onto the opposite side, which is all a little bit weird. Uh, down here in the accountant's and the principal's office, their office sort of table and chair thing that's facing the wrong way round as well which is that's actually not that much of an issue it's a little bit weird that if you walk in through the door the principal is you know got their back to you and also if you were to peek through the door you could see what the principal was looking at on their computer <laughs> it could be a little bit naughty but um but you know that's not a that's not a bad thing they will still work it's fine it's just not you know it's not ideal it doesn't look very good so we might have to sort that out again over here look the uh, sinks are sort of facing the wrong way. The the trash bins that are that are on walls that are yeah pointing upwards, if you like. So the trash bins that are on north walls or south walls, that's the best way to describe it, have kind of been flipped over as well. The trash bins that are on an east-facing wall, or presumably a west-facing wall somewhere, are absolutely fine. So they've not changed. However, the big thing, the big thing is here, look. Because the teacher tables and the chair that goes with the teacher table has been moved round in a few of the classrooms except some of them where they've been entirely removed the teacher table is no longer in these classrooms which is unfortunate <laughs> because that means that these are no longer valid classrooms and that's not very good we are in the middle of a school year it is day four of year three and we need those up and running right now so i think priority number one is get those tables in now i'm not really that bothered look this will work this is a teacher table and a chair in a classroom. Yes, it's a bit weird that the teacher is also facing away from the students <laughs> and pointing at the table. I mean, it's not very good teaching, is it, to turn your back on all the students? But whatever, in terms of in-game mechanics, it will be fine. But um, this worries me a little bit. I don't really want the uh, term, the term, the day to start, sorry, without um, without these tables in because that is just going to cause us some issues. So one thing we can do right now is we can get those objects put down. And of course, they will be 10% cheaper because we've got that thing. I mean, really, we shouldn't be spending any money on them at all. They shouldn't have vanished. But if we have to replace them, at least we're replacing them at a slightly cheaper rate than we would have been previously. So that's lovely. And I will admit, 
this does fill me with dread a little bit. It does make me a little bit scared because in the previous series of Academia, that got updated halfway through and everything went a little bit weird. We suddenly had a massive influx in ill students and an absolutely gargantuan wave of delinquents. Everyone was a delinquent in that school by the end, but they were all causing trouble and bunking off and fighting and doing all that stuff. It all went a little bit wrong following an update. And I'm just hoping that, what are we now, seven? Are we seven episodes into this sort of particular series? I really hope that seven episodes in, it does not happen again and our Academia save is not all over the place because I'm quite enjoying it and I think we've done very well so far. We've fought our way up and we've actually got a little bit of money left. We're just starting to you know, treat ourselves and give ourselves lovely little gifts of this research stuff. So it'd be a shame if we kind of had to bail out and start again. That would be a shame. But right, let's sort this out first. Let's get these done. So objects, classroom, and let's get a teacher's table. Oh, hang on. The teacher's table comes with a chair now. Oh, that's the problem here then, is it? So am I going to have to dismantle that chair and dismantle that chair? Right, okay, we need this thing. We need the worker priority tool, everybody. Look, I'm going to do the worker priority. <laughs> <laughs> not the worker priority eraser, which is what I was using previously, like an idiot, which people have pointed out. Right, okay. We need to speed time on, and we need to make sure that all this works. Ah, I wonder if... I wonder if they've combined the tables and stuff together now. See, I can't remember if when we built the office, the... Yeah, if we go and have a look, I can't remember if when you build an office, the, the fancy chair that the person sits in, and then the you know, the desk with the computer on, is one thing, and you have to put down a chair or two, or whether it's a combined unit. But now it seems to be a combined thing. Okay, have they dismantled those things yet? Where are the builders? Builders, this is, it, this is critical. No, no, no. No, no, no. There are students who are not assigned to classrooms. Ah, is it because these classrooms are no longer valid? This could be a massive problem. I don't want you to go and mend... Seriously, clean it. Going to rest? You've only just got in. We have students inbound very soon. You need to get on with this. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this is all going to go horribly wrong. Right, you. Get in here and do this, please. Oh, thank goodness. Right, you're going in there to do that. Brilliant. Right, dismantle this. Right, okay. Pause. Pause, pause, pause. Objects. Teacher's table. Uh, can we put it the right way round as well, though, please? That would be great. If it could go there like that, that would be marvellous. Right, put that in. Right, and you over here. Speed time on. Speed time on and get that in as well. Right, okay. All right, hang on, hang on. And now, back to worker priority. Oh, this thing is very useful. Worker priority, worker priority. Absolute, utter number one priority issue. That needs to be done right the heck now. That needs to be done right now. I do like the way that a lot of the teachers... <laughs> Just just combing their hair. <laughs> Jackie. Jackie Renierson is just combing their hair. They just stood there combing their hair. They're putting a bit of makeup on. They're... I don't know what they're doing. What's that? Is that another makeup thing? I'm not entirely sure. Medrow Stone. I mean, yeah, you, you've got a lot of wonderful looking hair to comb. That is lovely. And do you know what? This might be for more UK people. This might be for more UK folks uh, who have seen the IT crowd. But this person here, this teacher, it, it, that's Moss, isn't it? That looks like Moss from the IT crowd. If anybody knows what I'm talking about, pop a little thing in the comments and say, yes, I agree, or no, you're blind. But um, yeah, look, that, I think that looks like Moss. That, it just looks like Moss. But anyway, right. It, are the teachers... Oh, no, they're not in. They're not in. It's first period, and some of the teacher things are not ready. I think that one is. That one is ready. But um, but some of the other ones, this one is not. So if the builder could come in and do this right now, yes, okay. Right, build the desk bit. Come on, put the desk together, bit of a space. And then, right, okay. Everything is seemingly back and looking lovely, perhaps. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Right, so now we need to keep an eye on what else is going on. Is everything else working or is stuff broken? Right, let's repair that toilet cubicle. That is absolutely fine. Um... That, I imagine, is going to continue to work. It just might not be very... It's not very sort of aesthetically pleasing, is it? And these things, we will... I, I can't I can't live with them like that forever. They'll have to do for now because it will take too long for them to get replaced and it's possibly a little bit expensive as well. But maybe in the build phase at the end of year three, we might just have to go and sort those things out because that's just unpleasant to look at, isn't it? And that's just grim as well. <laughs> I don't like it. It's all the wrong way round. But yeah, everything else is sort of okay. There's an awful lot of dirt. 
There is a lot of dirt in our school. Our school is filth ridden. Maybe after we get water rationing and the next day we can start upgrading the uh, performance of our cleaners. Make our janitors a little bit better. Make them move quicker and make them clean quicker. Because, um, yeah, they're just, they're not really doing the job, are they? Also, I suspect this is causing an issue. Can they, is this blocking the corridor? It looks like maybe that's blocking the corridor. Oh, no, no, it's fine. They're just running through them. Okay, no, it's fine. I, just, I thought it might be causing a problem. But no, it's not. Right, okay. Speed time on. There's a lot of food on the food delivery thing. Wow, that's a, that's a lot of food right down there. That is an awful lot of stuff in the delivery area. Okay, but I think everything is working. Everything is working fine. You know, there's, the stuff is ticking over quite nicely. Oh, the bed's all the wrong way around. Oh, the beds are all the wrong way around as well. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, I was thinking, hang on, the students are lying the wrong way. But okay, yeah, so the beds are also twisted round. And we have got water rationing research done. Okay, right, come out of that then. So that is now done. Um, Do we want to do one of these? What was one of them? It was counselling. If we check the report, oh... Oh, 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 uh, yeah, this, this, this could be unfortunate. I thought maybe that might have redone it, but, uh, but no, hang on. <laughs> oh dear, those students have all had the day off. Oops, it did tell me about that, but I thought by putting the table in, it might have actually sort of rejigged it itself, but no. Right, there we go. Uh, sorry about that, everyone. <laughs> Kids, go and do some learning. Oh, dearie me, that's not good. That's a couple of lessons down. That might be a bad thing. Oh, dear. Uh, right, okay, let's go and look at the, um, Go and look at the to-do list and see what we can do. So, computational power, we need to build a computer lab. Now, I remember from before, they're quite expensive. The computer labs are quite costly because the computers themselves are quite expensive. And then the running of those computers is expensive. Because I don't know what year academia is set in, but the computers are all ye olde computers. Look, an old CRT monitor. Go and ask your parents, kids. Um, and, you know, I mean, that's a disk drive. That's an actual disk drive. I mean, it's not a not a CD drive or a DVD drive. That's a floppy disk drive. And a mouse, look, with a wire. And it, wow. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, it's old school stuff. So the computers are clearly very expensive to buy and run. Um, set them straight is... What are those two? I don't recognise those two. Hang on. Have they added in some new grants as well? Um, set them straight is the counselling thing, which will cost us a bit of money to do because we have to then... Uh, we have to research counselling which I think is quite expensive. Then we've got to build a whole new office for the councillor and then hire the councillor. So that will be quite expensive. We won't be able to do that right now. What is ready, set, go? Build a track? Prepare your students for the rat race. Build a track by going to the zones menu and clicking on the special rooms tab. <gasps> a track? Like a, like a track and field, like a running track? Oh, 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 right. We've got to go and check that out. That looks very exciting. And then admissions. Is that the 200 students one? No. Make sure that you have incoming students before starting the school year. Click on the admissions button in the top left corner and have at least one incoming student in the freshman year. Oh, oh, that's like just a free 1,000 money at the start of the game. But we can get that at some point in the build phase because we're going to have to do that. So when we get to the end of this year, we have to make sure that we have no grants open. And then we can go to admissions, apply for that, click on the admissions button, and then get 1,000 monies, which is lovely. So where is, um, not to do, unlockable. Where's the thing which has about 200 students? Or have they taken that out now? I think that might have gone. Yeah, that's gone. Okay, well, that's fascinating. Okay, so the big thing we're going to go and look at now is track. And we've got all this space down here. We've got all this lovely space. We do need to put proper flooring in over here because it is making this corridor very dirty. Yes, I know this is outside, <laughs> but yeah, we want sort of this lovely grass which they can run on and and not and not this grubby sort of dirt. Okay, so zones. Hang on, so build. Oh, no, no, objects. Objects. PE. An oval track. Four grand. Oh, oh, it's it's beautiful. It's a, hang on, can we rotate it? Can we rotate the oval track? I don't think we can rotate it, but my goodness, it can just about fit in there. If we shuffle those fields around, it fits here perfectly and we can even put a fence in. In fact, when that fence is gone, that fits there an absolute 
treat and it's 3,600 monies. We can't afford to build it right now, but that is absolutely something we are going to put in with a fence around it. Oh, that's really exciting. <laughs> that's a new thing. It's a new exciting thing. And I think they've put, is that new as well? The garbage tab. Is that new or did I just not look at that because it's not the most exciting of things? Um, okay, I don't know. Hang on. What, what are you doing? You, hang on. What? Sean Bazzini is going to defecate. Okay. <laughs> Do you know what? I thought that was what the little icon was above his head, but I kind of just assumed it might have been something else. Where are you going to defecate? Hang on, hang on. I, I have to follow your activity. No. No, 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 Sean Bazzini. <laughs> no. No, 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 not, not, not in a bush. How do you wipe? How do you... He has just... He, he's just defecated in a bush. Out in the middle of nowhere. How have you washed your hands? How? I mean, I don't want to get into the the, the gross details, but how how did he wipe? How? What? Okay, so we've got people that don't like using the school toilets, and you would rather go outside <laughs> and have a, and have a poo, have a poo in. Oh, you've gone to wash your hands there. You're actually washing your hands in the sink, in the backward sinks. But you'd rather go outside. And, and and poo in a bush than use the lovely school toilets that we have here. Oh my goodness me. That that was bizarre. Hang on, hang on. Oh no, we can have some sort of ludicrous epidemic of people needing to go to the toilet. Because look, you've got a poo sign above your head and you've got a poo sign above your head as well. Please, please, academia people, tell me that you've not bugged the game out with people needing to go for number twos constantly. <laughs> Because that would just be ridiculous. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Um, okay, fine, right. Well, there we go. That's a new thing. So as well as needing to urinate, the, the uh, students can now go and defecate as well. Oh, good. Isn't that lovely? Okay, day five has begun. We have been paid. We've got just over $9,000. And if we take a look in here, we can see that our water bill has gone from, was it 992 down to 793 So we've saved about $200 per day on the water bill, which is very, very, very good indeed. That is good. So over the course of a year, a school year, which is nine days in this game, we would save ourselves $1,800. That's no bad thing. $1,800 in academia is actually quite a lot, given that, you know, you don't get a lot of monies, really, particularly not in these early sort of days, two students absent due to sickness. So we've got a choice of what we could do. I think we might meddle about with that track because I think that looks very, very exciting. I like the idea of the track. And what we could do is we could just trim the edge of the... Hang on, what are you two doing? Hang on. Exercising. And ex so two teachers are in the field on their own exercising. Should you not be teaching children? Oh, don't tell me it's all gone weird, academia. Don't tell me you have gone weird. There is a class here... There's an empty freshman class. Oh, no, they're all in here. They're all in the library. Well, hang on. Shouldn't you be teaching people? Hang on. Hang on. Right. Let me check this. Medrout Stowe and Jackie Renierson. Should you not be teaching people? What time is it? 8.27. So you should be teaching PE for the freshmen from classroom 11. Now, which one is classroom 11? Um, no, that diagonal floor. How do you work out which classroom is which? I'm not entirely sure how you work out which classroom is classroom 11. But still, I think, is it this classroom? Is it this classroom? It's all gone a bit weird. It's all gone very strange. And uh, who are you? Jackie Renierson and Medrout Stowe. So yes, Jackie Renierson should be teaching PE to the freshmen. Uh, and Medrout Stowe should be teaching PE to the juniors. But unfortunately, they seem to have forgotten to turn up. <laughs> Oh, dearie me. Um, and there's some freshmen up in the library. That's fine. That is fine. So everyone is being taught. It's just that these teachers are over here in this field on their own, which is a little bit weird, but okay. <laughs> it's all fine. It's all good, possibly. Right. Let's remove. I want to zone edit, but I want to take out that bit of that zone. I want to sort of trim the size of the zone, please. We might have to remove the zones and start again. So let's go to specialist rooms and let's get a field. Uh, and let's put a field like uh, that and a field like that. 
In fact, that field can be a bit bigger. That can cut over to there. And again, I'm going to leave this little gap here. I don't know if putting a field sort of flush against this door would cause problems. I don't know if they're going to sort of say, I can't get to this field because there's a class on this field and it's blocking the door. So at least if we do that, it's got a little way through. And now we need to annihilate this fence. We need to blow that fence up. So let's go to build. Let's go to demolish. Let's take the fence out. And actually, we can take that top fence out as well because that is going to be a wall in the long run. So let's run time on. The builders can all come in. Right, there you go. Oh, there you go. You students have remembered. <laughs> They've actually turned up. They've turned up for the class. Yay. Right. The builders are coming in. They are dismantling everything. It's very exciting. Okay, let's go to here then. Let's do this. We get 2,000 advance and 4,000 completion bonus. So let's apply for this. So we've got ourselves 13 grand, which is lovely. Let's go here uh, into objects, go to PE and get ourselves an oval track. <laughs> it just looks fabulous. Okay. Um, oh, let's put it there. There's nothing else to put round it. There's not like seats or anything. So let's put it just there. Oh, that is, that is a wonderful thing. That is a wonderful, wonderful thing. <laughs> I do like that. Um, okay, so that is there. Now let's just see what happens. So what happens with this? So the builders are presumably going to come out and start working on this at some point. If the builders can be bothered. There they are. Hello. Um, I mean, yeah, okay, you've got to build yourself a track. That's not a small task. You're going to go through each tile individually, are you? Where are your other builder friends? What are they doing? Is that a cook? I mean, you're a janitor. Ah, oh no, not another. St oh look, <laughs> what are the students doing? What what is wrong with some of our students? Why are they Why are they using the bushes as toilet facilities? The toilet facilities are here. They are plenty and they are adequate. Oh dearie me, it's just very unpleasant. It's all horribly unsanitary. Um, yes, yeah, so we could do with expanding the fence and that wall across there. Because otherwise they're going to use this door to come in, aren't they? The only thing is, we are not going to have anywhere near enough money for this. A brick wall across there is 2,340. So we can get that done, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Also, that does stop the students going here quite so easily. Yes, I suppose they could go all the way round the edge of the school to go and you know, use the bushes if they really need to. But yeah, that makes it a bit trickier for them. Um, okay, so well, he's still working on that. They can put a wall just there and then a fence, if we can do this, can come all the way along there and to there. It's going to cost us quite a lot of money. And then I think... With our extra bit of money that we've got left, I think we get ourselves another janitor. Let's just pop another janitor in. We need another janitor to go and do cleaning of things. What is this janitor's immediate first job? Don't tell me you're going to go and clean up. You are. You're cleaning up some, some wee. You're cleaning up wee. And now you're cleaning up poo. I'm very sorry, Leisha Heil, that you have come into this job. You just thought it was going to be emptying bins and, you know, sweeping a floor occasionally. But no, you're out, you're out in the grounds removing human waste from bushes. And for that, I apologise. If I could give you a raise, well, I probably wouldn't give you a raise, but I'd probably give you a very much, I was going to say I'd shake your hand, but I don't want to do that either, given what you've been doing. I'd probably nod at you very appreciatively. <laughs> that is exactly what I would do. <gasps> The track is in and it looks lovely. Oh, that is that is brilliant. I like that a lot. That is very good. Oh, he's got a little grass bit in the middle. Now, yeah, we need to get the rest of this uh, done with grass. This still needs to be have like a proper grass sort of underneath. That will cost a lot of money. If we can start working on that now, that would be great. So, yeah, so if we just get grass. Now, I assume grass does not cause dirt. I'm guessing that, you know, if you put a paved floor down, that definitely won't cause dirt. But if you put grass down, it's not going to cause dirt that's coming along here. So I'm going to put some grass down for now. Maybe that field can have some, that field cannot have all that grass. That field can go to there and have some grass and a tile there as well, <laughs> because grass is quite expensive, it seems. Uh, 1,080 money is on that as well for grass. My funds are running low, I know, but we have got an outside area and it's a beautiful thing. Also, we have built a track and, oh no, <laughs> oh, academia, no, it's all gone a bit wrong and a bit wibbly. Um, 
Okay, maybe that'll sort itself. Maybe that will sort itself out at the end of the day or something. I don't know. Uh, this this builder has locked himself out like a fool, but okay. Right, they're coming in and trying to put as much of that grass in as they can, I think. But um, yeah, they've kind of stopped. Right, end of the day is going to come up very, very soon. Oh, the school is very dirty. It's very grubby in this place. <laughs> It's a dirty, dirty place. Uh, yeah, hygiene is not great. Hygiene is not great. Increased by washing. But okay, right, so we'll try and sort that out. Yeah, hygiene is really bad. Hygiene is very bad indeed. Oh, dear me. Right, we need to take a look at that at some point. Um, And yeah, we've got a track in. We've got a track, but it's not counted that I've constructed a track. This is making me a bit sad. I don't want to have to do all this again, Academia. Don't make me do it again. Ah, no, it's this, isn't it? Of course, the little pop-up thing did say that I should do this. Here, look, build a trap by going to the zones menu and clicking on the special rooms tab. And then we zone out a track. And then because the track is already built on there, we should get that. Oh, thank goodness for that. I thought that that had bugged out and that was going to cost us money. It was all going to be bad. But no, the track is in. Hooray. And we've been paid for it as well, which is lovely, which means we've got 11 grand, 11 and a half grand. Let's go to the blueprint tool. Let's erase all that blueprinted stuff in there because it looks a little bit unpleasant, doesn't it? So we really need to get this whole bit lovely. It's all a bit grim at the moment. So we could get those fields down there with grass on them which I think should reduce the dirt that's coming from here. So the builders will get there eventually. Now what we could do is, let's go to our current research thing. We could get electricity rationing, but I don't think we shell out that much money on electricity, 209. So it's not really worth doing that right now, I don't think. I think we need to get cleaning sorted. So let's get janitor priorities. That just is one grand, two hours, and it means that we can, you know, tell them to work on certain areas and stuff like that. So we'll get that in first, which is lovely. Um, is there a thing that makes the janitors quicker? Yeah, faster janitors increases the movement speed of janitors by 50%. But we need to get dumpster first which is costing three grand. By the end of this school year, I think we'll be able to do that. So let's move time on. Let's move time on very, very quickly. The builders are putting the grass in, which is good. You're all learning about jumping up and down. That is a beautiful thing. Jumpy, jumpy, jumpies. Right. So yeah, they're doing this. They're going to take these bushes out, which is good. And now that is all lovely. That is an actual sort of nice grassed area, which I don't know because it's a special type of flooring and it's not the mud floor. I'm going to assume that, that does not generate dirt. So I assume once this is all clean, that's lovely. Oh, hang on a minute. <gasps> he's using the field. He's using the field. He's using the field, not the field, the track. He's using the track. Look, he's he's hammering the students. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means, but my goodness, that is possibly a poor choice of words, but okay. Oh, look, they're running around and thinking of basketball for some obscure reason, but okay, yes. When I run around a track, I often think basketball. Yay. Oh, this. Look at this. This is brilliant. This is brilliant. Ah, oh, this is tremendous. I like this. I like this a lot. I don't really know. What is this? What's that? What's that supposed to be? Um, uh, What is that? I mean, they're thinking of basketballs and they're thinking of that. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a, it's um soap. Oh, are you a bit unclean? Oh my goodness me, your hygiene levels are absolutely nowhere. And you need to go to the toilet. And you're very dirty. Uh, yeah, you're very dirty. And you're hungry. What? It, it's 10.39 in the morning. You have no health and no hygiene. Oh my goodness me. Yeah, we really do need to sort out the hygiene levels in this school. We're not going to get a very good rating <laughs> with that. Because that's just, that's all sorts of bad. We need all that to be... Um, grass underfoot as well i believe which might be quite expensive so we've got that done so now we can have microfiber mops which increase the cleaning speed by 100 percent. but it's six grand or we could get dumpster and then tomorrow when we get paid get faster janitors i think that's what we might do let's get dumpster now also that means we can get a dumpster which i suppose is no bad thing we can just chuck that down here in the garbage area and sort of leave it there that's fine so um yeah i think We'll get dumpster, then the day will roll around. By the time that's done, anyway, it'll probably be sort of mid-afternoon, I'd guess. So uh, yeah, we'll get a dumpster in, and then we will wait for tomorrow and then get the exciting research that makes the janitors go quicker. Because that's just what we need. We need the janitors to just work better. There's two of them here, look. 
and they are trying their best. Now, maybe with this done, maybe that is bringing in less dirt. I'm going to assume it's bringing in less dirt. Now, there's a little bit of crossing over there to, to, you know, to get to the track. A little bit of going on the dirt. I'm assuming running on the track is fine. I assume that does not generate dirt because it's a track. So, yeah, look, they've cleaned that quite well. The janitors are doing a good job, actually. This is good. Right, okay. Uh, well, let's wait for dumpster research to be completed. I've got a sudden terrible feeling that academia is doing it to us again. Look at the amount of ill people recovering from sickness. So many people lying on their wrong way around beds recovering from sickness. I don't like it when it does this because this is what happened last time and it went horribly, horribly wrong. Right, dumpster research is complete. So yes, now we'd need to save up four grand for faster janitors and then six grand for the microfiber mops. So they will move 50% quicker and they will clean quicker by 100%. So it's only going to cost 10 grand, <laughs> my goodness, to make the janitors really, really quite good. Okay, fine, we'll have to deal with that then. Right, everyone's been kicked out, that's lovely. We are going to put a dumpster down over here. So let's go to garbage, let's grab ourselves a dumpster. Um, okay, uh, there's an arrow thing, so let's rotate it round. So let's put, in fact, no, let's put the dumpsters facing that way. So that can sit just there. We'll just have one. We don't need two at the moment, I don't think. I think we'll just have one dumpster. Now, will they be able to build that before the day is out? I do not know. I'm not that bothered. I think they're going to. Yes, they are. There you go. He's whacked the air with a hammer and a dumpster has appeared out of nowhere. Lovely, lovely. Right. Janitors, get cleaning. Get cleaning really lots because everything is very grubby. Pretty much everyone. Oh, no. Everyone's just going home. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. Have a lovely time. Have a lovely, lovely evening. Come back and get prepared to do some more cleaning. Now, another thing that people have suggested in the comments is that even when people are walking in, look, these people here walk along the pavement, but these people here, even the staff, so the teachers and the nurses are walking across the mud. They are walking across the dirt because presumably it's the quicker way to get in because yeah, that's a slightly longer way. That's going to take you, what, two seconds longer <laughs> to go in. So I think what we might need to do is we might need to temporarily build something around here and then people will presumably not see that as a shortcut because they'll have to walk there and then walk round whatever we put round here so i think we need to sort of block this off with something now is there something nice is there a nice thing that we can block this off with planters they sound like nice things yes let's put a few of these in shall we so um, i don't think we can get anything else no see so these things would be quite nice but uh, no let's put some nice planters down so a flower planter let's zoom in so we'll have a couple of flower planters like that and we'll have one there and there as well and then we'll have a wooden planter to make it look different we'll put one of those there and then we'll have a regular bush in a planter just there like that i've just noticed that in that bush there is some is some poo for goodness sake <laughs> it's ridiculous right okay and then we'll put a couple more of those in as well just to fill in those gaps just in case they can nip through there on an angle you know we can use it as a shortcut or whatever so uh yeah let's have uh wood planters there 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 and there so it's got a nice sort of a nice intro to the school look apart from apart from the poo and the wee and the bushes on the way in. Do you know what? Do you know what? Cleaners <laughs> also remove those bushes because that is just a ridiculous thing. Uh, and those ones as well, please remove those and those ones and that and that remove the bushes where we can because that is just unpleasant and revolting right so the builders have got a bit to do we've got 10,198 monies which is lovely so let's get ourselves let's get faster janitors let's get them moving a bit quicker so that's one thing that we are investing in right now faster janitors and then i might get a couple more janitors i might just get a few more yeah look they're just shortcutting straight through and now now we've confused the students look <laughs> they've sort of all piled in and then the, the uh, builders went nope i'm putting a plant here bump <laughs> it's a bit, oh my goodness what's going on so yeah when they come in next time we will see what that's doing these poor guys are going in and removing the bushes and <laughs> discovering any unpleasant surprises that might be beneath them yeah there's a little bit i'm very sorry i'm very sorry i apologize on behalf of the students on behalf of the school even i apologize that we have some very grim students who seem to have absolutely no decency at all 
Now, yeah, I want to see if that works. Right, faster janitor research is complete. That hand sanitizer is, al is almost broken. We'll repair that. Uh, only a few ill people at 10 in the morning. That's okay. So let's just take a look at this. Health and hygiene is still... Ah, right, that hygiene level is going back up overall for the freshmen. Yeah, why is health and hygiene so massively low? I guess it is because they walk in and walk on that stuff. I'm, I can only assume that's what it is. So hopefully, if we've done that right, they will walk on the path and then go in. If not, we will build a massive wall across there, a massive wall across here, and then walls all the way along there to stop them going on the dirt, like the fools they are. And then, yeah, this also needs to be entirely, entirely covered in grass, which is just going to be very expensive. It's going to be very expensive, unfortunately, but okay. So let's try and do it in strip, shall we? How much money have we got? 6,184. Let's spend five grand on doing that, shall we? That's very expensive. It's it's going to take us a long time to get that sorted. It's going to take us a long time to get this area done properly. But I think we need to. I think we need to. And then we can put more fields down here as well, which is good. We'll have more fields down here. Um, okay, right. Is everything else looking okay? Is there enough cafeteria space? It looks like there is. Possibly wouldn't do any harm in getting another cook, possibly. And another couple of the cafeteria tables down as well. Let's get another cook because I think now we might need one. So that is eight. Oh, not enough funds. Ah, yeah. I, I didn't have 1,800. I've only got 1,400. Let's not get another cook right now. <laughs> let's leave that for now, shall we? Um, so let's. I love the way that cookie just stood there with a pot of food. <laughs> Does anybody want anything from this massive pot of food? So, no, I get it from these things, chef. Uh, let's put down another set of tables and chairs. Let's do that just in case. So all that round. Um, what does the arrow mean? Why is there an arrow? Don't really know what that's doing, but okay. Oh my goodness me. Right, things have now orientation. So I need to point that toward the thing. Okay, fine. Right, you are. Gotcha. Um, so they might... Have they finished doing that? Yes, they have. Right. So they can come in and work on those. Just add a few more tables and chairs. Lovely, lovely. Right, Okay. Uh, so we need to wait for tomorrow now to get the microfiber mop things, which will then take up pretty much most of our money. Oh my goodness, we're going to get to the end of this year. We're just going to have to get to the end of year three. I'm pretty confident in terms of results. Look, they've still got two days left and they're looking very, very good. But I think in terms of... Oh, the freshmen are struggling a bit. But in terms of um, like cleanliness and stuff... I don't think we're going to do very well in the school ratings. <laughs> I don't think that is going to be something that is, we're going to be regarded as being very good at, if I'm completely honest, because there's quite a lot of filth everywhere. <laughs> there's an awful lot of filth everywhere, not least outside in the bushes. Goodness me. Yes, look, they're all coming out and walking on the path rather than trying to take a shortcut across there. Okay, that is interesting. Okay, so hopefully when they come in, on the next day, on day eight, which we shall watch, they'll come in along the path and not get covered in filth. And we shall have to check what the values are up here as well. We'll have a little look at what that might be. So come on, day eight, roll round. Okay, day eight begins and we get paid. So 8,626 monies. And yeah, look, everyone is now walking across the pavement because they can no longer shortcut through there. And the big question is, do the students do that as well? And yes, for the most part, they do. There is an occasional rebellious student that thinks it's hilarious. And then they get, <laughs> and then like an idiot, they get stuck up here and then have to come back around. Yeah, Laurie Ann Pyburn. Yeah, don't you feel silly now? So yeah, so everyone piles into here, which is lovely. A few people are going straight out to the field. You're just going straight outside, are you? You better not be smoking suspicious cigarettes. Oh, you're going to the track. You're all just going to the track and just hanging out on the track. Do you know what? That's kind of fine. So now I'm going to check this. Now, uh, this this worries me a little bit because the freshman's health and the sophomore's health and the junior's health and the senior's health is absolutely terrible. I mean, are, there, are their parents looking after them properly? <laughs> this is That's not my doing. That's not my doing. The hygiene levels are going up, look. Um, why is their health so bad from the start? That is, that is a mystery that we need to look at. Also, there is this safety thing. Safety affects motivation, decreases if you're lacking monitors and if you have a lot of delinquents. I still don't think we have much in the way of delinquency, do we? No, 
Nothing. Oh, we haven't got a detention room. We haven't got a detention room because we keep changing things round, don't we? Um, right, how can how do we set a detention room? Completely forgotten how we do it. Where where is the detention room bit? There is something in here. Yeah, that's it. We go to edit, don't we? Oh no, no, I think we can go into here or here or somewhere. There's a bit where we can go and look at the rooms. <laughs> where is that? Where is that? Classrooms. Uh, there it is, detention. Um well, I don't know, that one. There you go. It's a detention room. Yay, yay for the detention room. Um, so now go up here. Let's get us microfiber mops. Absolutely. Microfiber mops pick up dirt at a faster rate. Increase cleaning speed by 100%, which sounds fantastic. We will have a bit of that, thank you. And then we will spend the last of our meager amounts of money now on some grass. Can we get another strip of grass in? 1,260. Yes, we can. We could, in theory, get another little bit of grass down there. Yeah, there we go. And we now have 106 monies to our name. Oh, it's a little bit sad, isn't it? That will go up as we get students in here and do all the stuff. You know, they'll start paying for the vending machines and the stuff up here, the kitchen stuff. But, um, but yeah, that, that's not a very encouraging amount of money, is it? But at least this is looking much better. This is looking much, much better. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. So day nine needs to roll round. So we're going to get to day nine. And then I think, yeah, we invest in a couple more cleaners uh, and possibly a cook and maybe then a monitor. Maybe we need to get another monitor because do the students feel safe? Oh, hang on, hang on. Let's check the safety. Safety is oh, sa safety is maxed out on all of them. So it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Um, health, has, health has vanished. Nobody's got any health. Hygiene is going back up, which is good. So maybe maybe the janitors are cleaning really, really quickly now. Maybe they're just flying around doing some super janitoring. <laughs> but yeah, I think we need more of them. So, uh, right, well, let's wait for day eight to finish and let's wait for day nine to roll around and we'll get paid some lovely monies. Okay, day nine has appeared. It is 6.24 a.m. and we have been paid. So we've got 8,325 monies. Uh, the student motivation has just gone all the way up to the top, which is very good. Look, hygiene levels are really high up. They've gone very, very high. Now, that wasn't like that yesterday, was it, when they started? That's quite encouraging. Health is still very, very low. I don't really know what to do about that. What can we do with that? Dirty schools and low hygiene decrease health. We've got very high hygiene at the moment, so I'd expect that arrow to be going up. However, one thing I did think was, I wonder if it's because of the plates. I wonder if we need maybe a couple of cooks. Maybe we need a lot of extra cooks. There is also an awful lot of dirt going on. What are these children doing? <laughs> How are they making the floors so very revoltingly disgusting? So let's get ourselves at least one more cook. We need to invest in a cook. I think that's probably a good idea. One more cook is in. Hello, who are you? Who has joined the team? Yeah, it is Yvonne Musselman. Well, there you go. You can get on with lifting some heavy things. You can lift heavy amounts of plates. That would be splendid. And then I think, staff-wise, at least two more janitors. Let's get one and two and put you just there. So who are you? Who has joined? We've got uh, Gerard Heiter and... <laughs> Dung. <laughs> Dung Massetti. Well, Dung, I've got a perfect job for you. If you pop out here, look, and have a look around outside. Oh, not over there. Maybe over here in these bushes. <laughs> you may find your namesake. If you could clean that up, please, that would... <laughs> That would be excellent. And that leaves us with just uh, just under three grand. Now, I think we are going to struggle to do anything with that. Uh, could we get something here? Dishwashing mastery. Make sure cooks wash dishes faster. Increase dishwashing speed by 100%. Now, if the dishes are being a problem, if dirty dishes are actually causing uh, ill hygiene, maybe that is a good thing to have. It will only take an hour... So by the time everyone comes into the school, it will be done. And then I think we just invest the rest of that money on some lovely grass. And that is all we can do. We'll spend it. It's 6.36. <laughs> In about 10 minutes, we spend our whole day's worth of money. But I think it's good. It's a good investment on things. So we've got more cleaners. The cooks are going to be quicker at washing the dishes, which is lovely. I mean, do they need another one of these? I mean, they haven't emptied these, which is what worries me. These things here are not empty, which makes me think, should they be emptying them? I don't really know. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I'm glad the cleaners are in and they're doing lots of cleaning. It does seem to be 
uh, th this particular game of academia seems to be very, very... Everything is dirty. There is a lot of dirt everywhere. <laughs> and I mean, I understand when we had no flooring, but now the only bit with no flooring is over here. So I don't really know where all the grime and grot is coming from. But um, but yeah, okay, fine. When we'll have to... Uh, we shall have to try and sort that out. I mean, look, the entrance hall is just is just filth laden. It is just very, very unpleasant. So we're going to need so many cleaning staff. We're going to just need cleaning staff everywhere. <laughs> Every room can have its own cleaner by the look of it. Um, oh no! Oh no! The kitchen sink is almost broken. Repair the kitchen sink. That would be a bad thing to break. If if someone could come up and mend this really, really soon, that would be. Oh, thank goodness for that. Right, it's repaired. Good. So, uh, yeah, okay, right. They're good at cleaning the dishes. The dishes are nice and clean. Look up here. The cooks are waiting. They are resting. The students confessing their love. Good luck with that. The clinic is looking a little bit like the zombie apocalypse has arrived. And everyone's gone a bit green, but okie dokie. Uh, right, what we'll do is, what we'll do is, we shall get to the end of day nine. We'll do the end of year assessment thing. We'll see how they do. Now, I'm a bit worried about the freshmen. I don't think all the freshmen are going to pass. Sophomores, I think, have got a pretty good chance of getting most of them through. Juniors, again, I think will be okay. Maybe one or two might stumble on history. Seniors, I think, will all be fine. I think all the seniors will be absolutely fine. But, um, yeah, the freshmen uh, does not encourage me too much with these 80. Oh, hang on, that's gone up a bit. That's gone up a little bit. But, yeah, history 78, that's not very encouraging. And, yes, we need to figure out exactly why their health is so low and why the hygiene is coming down. I don't really know why the hygiene is coming down. It, it, I've done everything I can, unless it is just the sheer volumes of dirt. And when they walk across dirt on the floors, it then just goes, right, there you go, that, that student's become slightly more ill and slightly more you know, unhygienic. When I mean, there's so much stuff on here, maybe it's this. Maybe it's this grass. Maybe we need to make the playing fields on, I don't know, it's not that. <laughs> like, I don't know, uh, gravel or something, which sounds very unpleasant. But, um, yeah, we'll have to look into that. Is the hallway at least clean? Yeah, okay, so the way in is at least vaguely clean. Right, and out they go. The school year has ended. The green students are also going away. And what is going to happen at the end of this? I think academically we'll be fine. I think in terms of hygiene, we will not get a good rating. I think it's going to be like a, a C or a D or something. It's probably going to impact our sort of uh, our overall scores. We might, we might possibly just do another year of this. Do another year of this particular school setup. Just try and get it sort of uh, all sorted. Right, final exams are currently on going. The teacher is falling asleep. The student could get their phone out and look at the answers because the teacher's asleep. But okay, here we go. Here we go. And 97. Yeah, so five of the freshmen failed. I suspected the freshmen might struggle. Everybody else has passed again. That is fantastic news. Well done. 97%. I'm very happy. So which one struggled? Uh, Jolyn Heibarger, Nigel Vranich, Leon Lyde, Hobart Lykin and Hank Shujak, Shujak, possibly, and our evaluation, school rank, oh, oh, look at that, I mean, this, the showing on the side ruins this little sort of tension building bit here, but okay, 340, and cleanliness, we got a B, have you been to our school, <laughs> there was, there was poop in the bushes outside the doors at one point, maybe they didn't turn up on that day, maybe the inspectors came at another point, so, We've got ourselves 13,000 monies. We have many, many interested students, which is very encouraging. Uh, rank 340. So now we are flanked by Portland Heights and uh, Dougherty. Dougherty, possibly. Dougherty Heights. Okay, that's fine. So yeah, more prestige. 425 prestige. That is lovely as well. Big bit of cash. Okay. So if we go to the next school year, it will now be the build phase. And what we're going to do is... Uh, we've reached we've reached rank 500. We're in the Fern League, okay, and we've finished three school years. Yay! We've got the junior achievement. Go us. Any others? No. Okay. Right. What we're going to do is we shall we'll call it quits for now. We shall leave it there. But there are a few things that we can get done. Number one is we're going to sort this field out. Whatever it costs, whatever the massive cost is going to be, we're going to get that done. Then we could possibly just do some research stuff. And we could just keep exactly the same amount of students in this year. We won't build any extra classrooms. We won't build anything extra. We might possibly, um, possibly, oh, we can do that, can't we? We'll do that next time as well. We might get ourselves these two. We might build the computer lab and do the counselling thing. That might help. 
that might be a thing that we could just get in and get done. I mean, yeah, the councillor could just sit here and the council needs a big room. So we could get that in possibly might be a good thing. And then maybe use this space over here for sort of computer labs and stuff. We could work that out later. You know, in the next part, I think we'll take a look at that. But yeah, really getting that field done is important. And then, um, yeah, getting some extra staff getting some extra cleaners in, maybe sorting out some cleaning routes as well. So yeah, there's plenty to do, plenty to do next time out indeed. But we shall finish up for now. Oh, and also, we might ha I might just have to go and turn these tables around because that's going to make me sad. That's just going to, every time I see that, I'm going to be irritated by this. So it's going to be a bit of a fiddly thing to do, but I kind of just want that done because that's just wrong. It's just wrong and very irritating. And the same with the sinks and the hand sanitizers. They're just floating in the middle of the corridor. I'm going to turn those around. The clinic beds, they all need to be turned around as well. And I mean, is that whiteboard facing the white way, the, the right way as well? Sorry, I'm not entirely sure. But we'll take a look at all the things as well. We should do that in the build phase of the next part, which is lovely as well, because we're not under any time pressures or anything, which is splendid. But yeah, we'll finish up for now. Hopefully you are enjoying this. <laughs> You're enjoying watching me floundering about trying to deal with all the newly introduced bugs, which is lovely. If you have enjoyed it, then please do leave a like. That would be most splendid. And also please do subscribe if you are not already, just to keep up to date with how we get on here in academia. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. Flying rhinos are not allowed. Pink hippos are fine, but no flying rhinos. Doing that for that length of time is making me feel very uncomfortable. You're like violating me with your weird zebra eyes. Get off. Mystic. Okay, this is just an acid trip. If we can crash into a rainbow, then something is fundamentally wrong with the world. Whoa, you cheating giraffe git.